Hey everybody, tonight we are back in Disney Springs and we are trying another restaurant that we've always wanted to try and we have not been to yet and that is Wine Bar George, right behind us. Yeah, we've been wanting to eat here for a really long time. We've heard such good things about it, so we're really excited to try it out. Yeah, this is one of the restaurants we've been wanting to come for a long time. We've heard nothing but really, really good things. We recently ate at the Boathouse. This is right across from the Boathouse, so we'll see if it's as good as the Boathouse was. It has a lot to live up to, so let's go have some dinner at Wine Bar George. first time and we're really excited. We've never eaten here before and we just sat down. We're on the second level um, inside but there is outdoor seating too. Yeah, it's nice out there. Yeah, and it was nice. When we sat down they gave us little bags for our masks Yeah. and we just took a look at the menu. It's mostly small plates to share and they have like a really extensive wine and and beer and spirits menu so I think I'm gonna try some wine and we are thinking uh, we're gonna get like four or five different small plates. And then as far as the menu here at Wine Bar George like Alex said it's mostly small plates they do have a couple entree options here's a look at what we are working with I think we're gonna get the olives the house-made meatballs the burrata the mac and cheese bites and then the pork we heard the pork the pork's really good too they also have cheese boards and charcuteries. And then here are your entrees if you decide you want a full size entree. Wine well, has nice work food characters, um, full body. It's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. There you go. <laughs> So you got yourself a nice fancy glass of wine there. Yep. It was good when I tried it. I like that they bring it over to you and like make you try it to see if you like it. If I didn't like it, I'm sure they would bring something else out oh, yeah. for me to try, but this was good. Um, I believe it's a um, Cabernet, which I usually drink, so. Now like we were saying before, you can also sit outside if eating outside is something that you would like to do. And it's in this great location right across from Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar overlooking the water. Really nice. So I'm really loving my wine and I'm trying to get Matt to try it. Matt doesn't drink, neither do I really. I like a, a glass of wine here and there, but I'm trying to get him to try it. I know he's absolutely gonna hate it though. But what do you guys think? Should he try it? Well, they can't vote in real time, so <laughs> I will try it. Let's see. Ooh, I'm surprised you're going to. Yeah, why not? You can't go by my opinion, so if I don't like it, I'm not the guy that he's, you should listen to. He's gonna hate it. I don't even know what I'm drinking. I am done like the worst wine kind of stuff, but let's see. Take a tiny sip. I'll take a tiny sip. <laughs> I don't know, you can't go by me when it comes to like wines. But I'm it's not a like, wine kind of stuff. But red, this is like red wine and it's drier, and it I just dry. know like you wouldn't like it. <laughs> yeah, don't, I will say like if I'm gonna drink a wine, like I'll go with like a sangria. I like sangria. Yeah. But well, sangria is sweet. <laughs> well, that's why I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got our first plate over here. This is the burrata, and this looks absolutely amazing. It's got some bread underneath it. The cheese looks so fresh. You can tell it's got a little bit of oil on it too. Oh my gosh, how good does that look? It looks so good. It has like the olive oil on top, coarse sea salt, yeah. fresh tomatoes. I'm really excited to try it. It looks so good. It looks so like picturesque too, but I'm so hungry, so let's just eat it. Yeah, and the burrata was really good. It was a really nice, fresh cheese. You can tell that it's like fresh, as fresh as it can possibly get. It has some nice salt on there that was really, really good too. The garlic bread wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. It's not really like your traditional garlic bread. You can't really taste the garlic, but it's still a good bread nonetheless, but the, the burrata itself was really, really good. It's really good. I love it. The um, bread is like a little bit, I don't want to say soggy, but it's not like crisp like you would imagine. Yeah. But the cheese is so good. I think it's a garlic bread too, if I remember correctly on the menu. Mm. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, because I love garlic bread. And the tomatoes, Matt doesn't like tomatoes, but the tomatoes are really fresh. So that is really good too. It all like plays together really nicely. So as we were here enjoying the burrata, all of our other dishes came. We got our meatballs, our mac and cheese bites, the pork over here, 
olives over there. We could have put anything else on this table if we wanted to. No, I'm so excited to try everything. Everything looks so good. So next up we are going to be trying the mac and cheese bites and they just look delicious and I just split one open over here and that is the inside. You can see the mac and cheese there with the uh, tomato sauce, little cheese sprinkled on top. Looks really, really good. Let's try them out. This is one of the things when I saw this on the menu, I was like the most excited for. I know like people come for the wine and I heard the pork's really good, but these mac and cheese bites, I love mac and cheese, so let's see how good they are. We showed you guys what the inside looks like, and now we're gonna give it the taste test. Mm. Okay, that's really good. That is so good. You could, again, you can tell like the mac and cheese is really fresh, like the, pot, the pasta is fresh, the cheese is really good, and it's just crispy enough on the outside. It's not like overly crispy. It's perfect. It's really, really good. Did you try some of the sauce on it? I did. The sauce is good too. Very good. I would definitely get these again. I don't know. Are you tasting like a little bit of spice? Yes, I was just gonna say the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of like a spicy aftertaste to it. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the tomato sauce or if it's like something within like the, the cheese that the pasta is cooked in. It's good though. Yeah. It's not like too spicy. Like no, you don't no. have to worry if you don't like spice, but it has like a nice like kick to it. It just has like nice flavor. Yeah. I like it a lot. First off, I want to apologize for the, the poor lighting on, a, on my face over here. I'm sitting right next to a window. But um, yeah, these mac and cheese bites are really, really good. I'm trying to figure out what is giving it that little bit of a kick. I tried the sauce on its own. The sauce, it's not what is giving it its spice. So it must be something either like the breadcrumbs that it's baked in or, you know, maybe the cheese itself. It has a little bit of a kick to it. Not enough to say don't get it if you don't like spicy food, but it's really, really good. I'm very, very impressed so far. Okay, so insider tip. We found out <laughs> why the mac and cheese bites are spicy. The coating, the breading on the outside. Ready for this? Is spicy Cheez-Its. That's what they coat it with. Yeah. How cool is that? You would have, if that's not on the menu, you would never know that. You would never know that, but it gives it a good um, spice. We like absolutely loved it. And who would have known that it was Cheez-Its? That's yeah. so funny. I would have never, if you would have given me probably a hundred guesses as to what that was, <laughs> that was on that coating, I would have never guessed that. I know, I thought it was like the inside, like the cheese that it was cooked with or something, yeah. but it was spicy cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on down the list, Alex just had a couple of olives. We're making our way through this table here. Yeah, they're really good, they're warm. Um, they have they have pits in them, so they give you like an extra bowl to put your pits in. And um, I think, I don't know what's on the outside, I think it's just like oil and like spices that they put on top but um, they're really, really good. I like them a lot. I love olives. If you like olives, I would definitely try them, but there's nothing like like too, too special about them. They're just like warm olives with like spices on top, but it's a good option. All right, next up, as we make our way through, we are gonna try the pork. Alex has been talking big time about this pork. I haven't, I've heard that it's good, but I haven't seen too much feedback on it. But Alex says, you know, a lot of people say the pork is delicious, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah, me too. We're not huge pork people, but I've heard this is like amazing, melts in your mouth, like they're known for this, so I'm excited to try it. It's very good. It's very good. I like it. I had some of the pieces that were more towards the middle because I don't like my meat like very pink. Um, some of the outer pieces are a little bit more pink, so I had one that was more towards the middle, and it was pretty good. It has a little bit of like a, a crisp to it, but it's also, you know, soft enough that you can tell it's good. I'm gonna try one of the ones that has like a little bit more fat on it and see, see if there's much of a difference. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Is it like out of this world amazing? I don't think so, but it's really good like I would I would maybe get this again this is one of the pricier plates also so a lot of the, the small plates are anywhere between you know like the olives were eight dollars some of these other ones were like 14 or 16 the pork is 28 so you're gonna pay a little bit more for the pork since it's actually meat um, so would I get it again I don't know but it wasn't bad so I'm not gonna say run and come and try the pork but if you're here and, and you like pork, give it a shot. I guess because I had high hopes, or not high hopes for it, but I think because I had such high expectations for it, it's maybe not like living up to that. Yeah. It's really good, but like, it's not very like flavorful. Would you say the same? Like, yeah, yeah. Like the meat itself is really good. It's not chewy. No. 
like it melts in your mouth, but like I guess it just doesn't have like a lot of flavor. Right. I don't know how it's to pretty explain. plain pork. Mm -hmm. It's good. You can tell it's good quality, mm -hmm. but the taste, you know, it needs that sauce on the side to kind of at least make it worth it, in my opinion. Yeah. So, like Matt said, I wouldn't like run out of my way to get it, but I might get it again. All right. Now we are gonna try one of the items aside from the mac and cheese bites that I was very excited to get, and that is the house-made meatballs. These look really, really good. And I'm very excited to try this. It comes with this triple cheese polenta underneath it. And this is really, really, really good. <laughs> that is excellent, right? The sauce is pretty good too. I will say for a non-Italian place, these are good meatballs. They're, they're not as good as if you would have went to like a, a nice Italian restaurant and gotten meatballs, but for a non-Italian place, these are good meatballs. So I also tried the meatballs. They're really good. Um, they're not like my mom's meatballs. Um, like we said in the past, we're two Italians from New York and New Jersey, so we know good meatballs. But for a non-Italian place, they're really good. They're almost like a different style of meatball, I feel like. Yeah. It has a different flavor than like what I'm used to with like my mom's meatballs, like Italian meatballs. But the triple cheese polenta is like the real winner here. I tried that first and I was like, whoa, that's really good a lot of flavor and it pairs nicely with the meatballs so yeah i think the meatballs are like more comparable to like if you were to get like swedish meatballs yeah you know like it's mm -hmm. th it's that type of meatball versus like a traditional like italian like spaghetti and meatballs type of right type of meatball they're more in line with what you would get if you got like swedish ones yeah but very, a very good option i would say definitely try it even just for that like polenta on the bottom yeah that, that's the polenta right underneath there yeah we ate our way through most of that that is, that's real good. <laughs> so we are just wrapping up now. We're just kind of picking on the, the, what's left of the olives here. Olives are really good. I'm enjoying those. I'm glad yeah. we got them. Me too. I was just saying to Matt, like we got five small plates for the two of us and I'm getting full. Like I think that was a good amount of food to get. Yeah. And we were saying like, you don't need to, you can come here and get like a good amount of small plates and have a full dinner. Or like if you just want something to pick on, this is also a really good place because you could just get like a few here and there. Yep. Pick on them, have a nice glass of wine or a drink and it would be perfect. Yeah. I was just saying to Alex, this is a really good first date spot. So if anybody out there is looking for love and looking to take somebody out on a date, Wine Bar George is a good spot because you can take somebody out to dinner. It doesn't have to be like super intimidating where you're going to like a real fancy place. You could do that if you want, but you can also come here, have a couple of drinks, a couple of little things to pick on, and it's, it's a different kind of vibe. So you can come have like the full dining experience that steaks on the menu, you can order that. Or like we did, we just got a, you know, a bunch of small plates and you can come you know, in between lunch and dinner, you can come for a light dinner, an early dinner. You have a lot of different like options that you can play with. And like I said, this would be a good date spot. So. Yeah, and it's a nice like atmosphere. You don't have to get dressed up. You can yeah. or you don't have to. Like Matt has a nice shirt on, but I have like jean shorts on right now. So like you don't have to get dressed up right. or you can dress fancy. Yeah, and there's people here that are in like t-shirts and shorts. You yeah. know, like it's it's kind of like the same thing. Like if you go to where to go to Hollywood Studios and go to the Brown Derby, you right. would think you would have to like get dressed up to go there. But it's the same kind of vibe here where you can get dressed up if you like but you're also still on Disney property, so you don't necessarily have to. Um, I know from the outside it looks really fancy, and you would think, like, ooh, wine bar George, I gotta get all dressed up. You definitely can, but you don't have to. So our check came, and we also got this little card that says you can get a complimentary frozen drink with the purchase of a corksicle, and they have a little drink stand outside. And a corksicle is basically like a little like Yeti cooler, kind of like a thermos. So if you buy that, he said it was $36, and it comes with a complimentary drink. So we just came from up there, obviously. That was, we were sitting right outside that balcony. And just underneath, Wine Bar George has what they call the basket. And this is kind of like a quick service uh, option for Wine Bar George. You guys can see the menu. You have bites to go, just a few different options, snacks to go. They have some frozen drinks, beers and ciders, and wine's on tap. You know what's catching my eye right now? There's a frozen drink made with Dole Whip pineapple. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a rose cotta with, with Dole Whip pineapple. Yeah, let's, let's see. It has oh, yeah. Moscato wine, vodka, and pineapple. Wow, it's like an alcoholic Dole Whip. 
All right, so that is gonna do it for our dinner over here at Wine Bar George. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I was thoroughly surprised. I've been wanting to eat here for a while, so yeah. I'm really glad that we did on this trip, and I loved it. Yeah, it was good. My favorite item, I would probably say, was the mac and cheese bites. That was my favorite thing that we've had. Yeah, that was really good. I also um, enjoyed the meatballs, yeah. and uh, the burrata was really good, too. Yeah, everything was really good. Uh, just to give you guys a, a ballpark estimate of a price, what you can expect. So everything we got including Alex's wine and the gratuity uh, the total came out to 103.96 so you got all that food and Alex did get a glass of wine for uh, you know just under $104 so if you're gonna get some drinks if you're gonna get multiple plates like we did that's roughly what you can expect to, uh, to pay but I thought it was worth it yeah I did too yeah. I, I really enjoyed everything that we had yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up if you guys are here in Disney Springs we definitely recommend you guys come check out wine bar George and with that being said we'll see you guys real soon Oh,